what's up lovely people welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing fine thank you for watching this video today we are going to be making kenyan beef samosas okay so here i have three cups of flour i have two spoons of sugar over here one teaspoon of salt cooking oil and a cup of medium hot water so we're going to mix first uh, the dry ingredients then we're going to be adding water just uh, slowly as we mix we don't want uh, our dough to be very hard so once the dough starts like becoming like kind of harder a little bit just add oil just to smoothen it up okay so you need to knead your dough for at least a minimum of 10 minutes and then when it, once it's done we're just going to place it on the bowl and then just apply oil on top just to keep it moisturized and then set it aside for like an hour okay so we're going to prepare our beef i have uh, my mincemeat over there coriander powder garam masala cumin powder black pepper salt I have my crushed ginger with garlic over here. I have uh, onions and green pepper. Then I have uh, green capsicum and olive oil. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of olive oil followed by our mincemeat. So we need to keep on stirring the mincemeat so that uh, it can separate to particles or else it will remain as a big bowl. <laughs> So this is how it should be. Then we're going to add our green pepper, followed by our onions. So we don't want our onions to be uh, too much cooked here. Yeah? So we're going to just keep them for like five minutes and then add uh, our ginger and garlic. Then we're going to start spicing up. So this is black pepper, garam masala, coriander powder, cumin, then a little bit of salt. So we're going to cook until it's uh, completely cooked. Once it's done, we're going to switch off the stove and then add our green capsicum followed by coriander you can add uh, spring onions as well i didn't have the spring onions that's why i didn't add i just added the capsicums okay so after uh, an hour of keeping the dough you can see it's very soft so we're going to cut them into small small pieces Then we're going to shape the pieces into small round uh, balls just to be easy when rolling. Okay, so once you start rolling, we are not going to roll too much, just a little bit, and then we're going to apply oil on top. Then we're going to sprinkle uh, flour. This, this helps for once you put them on each other, it will not stick so we're going to do this one as well apply oil and then sprinkle some uh, flour you can do this on two to three depending on how uh, good you are at it <laughs> so me I always do three so we're going to place this one on top of the others and then we're going to make a big one like chapati so we're going to roll them all together. Okay, so once it's big, it has to be even on all sides and then place it on the pan. So we're going to cook this, uh, depending on the heat, like three minutes each side. So it has to be like, like that. Okay, so once you're done, we're going to cut uh, like four pieces the way I'm cutting right now 
and then we're going to peel them off from each other so you see how soft it is and how easy it is yes and then we're going to make our paste that is just flour with water then we're going to take a piece fold it like that apply the paste apply on the other side as well and then fold it to make a, a cone shape just make sure you lock and you lock properly and then we're going to fill up our beef inside make sure everything is uh, tight inside yeah and fits properly and then we're going to apply the paste on the out, upper side and then lock it down so you have to make sure all sides are completely locked okay so this is another part on how to fold in case you didn't get the first part <laughs> maybe I'm not good in explaining <laughs> Okay, so now we are done we're going to deep fry them okay so for the oil once it's hot just uh, put the stove on a low heat for them not to be so overcooked and then just keep turning them just to avoid them uh, just to avoid like too much overcooking so we want them to be brown golden brown and crispy So once both, done, uh, both sides are done, so just remove them and this is how they are. This is the last result guys. I'm really proud of myself because before it wasn't like that perfect but now each day I'm perfecting. I like my sambusas with uh, lemon. This is how they look inside. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> Thank you for watching my videos and please don't forget to subscribe down below.